Hello kids, let's start with our EVS 1, Chapter 16, Water. Now, let us start. Can you recall what happens when a spoonful of sugar, sawdust and soil are added to a glass of water? Let us see what happens here. When a spoonful of sugar, sawdust and soil are added to a glass of water, sugar dissolves in water, sawdust floats on surface of water and soil settles at the bottom. Which are the three states of water? Yes, you are right. Solid ice, liquid water and gaseous steam are three states of matter. What is done to make drinking water clean and safe? Water is boiled and then filtered in order to make it clean and safe for drinking. Disposable of waste water. Let us see. The waste water of a city or town is collected and let into a water body at a convenient location. Water body means it is lakes, rivers, etc. The wastewater from residential buildings as well as from factories and industries contain many kinds of impurities. Some of these dissolve in the water while some do not. Sewage water, wastewater can carry microorganisms that spread disease. We will we fell ill. Wastewater from industries is more likely to contain poisonous substances. If all this wastewater is let into water bodies as it is, the water bodies become polluted and that is dangerous. Such water cannot be used for drinking or for any other purposes. That is why it is compulsory for factory owners to treat the water before letting it out. Similarly, sewage and other waste water of towns and cities is processed for purification before letting it into a water body. This helps to prevent pollution of water. Flowing water of rivers get purified to some extent by natural process also. Before water is supplied to a town or city, it is purified. Now we will see purification of water. Take a plastic bottle. Tie a clean piece of cloth over its mouth. Cut out the base of the bottle. Hold the bottle upside down. Pour some powdered coal into it. Then add fine sand and lastly coarse sand to make three different layers inside the bottle. Coarse sand means sand with large particles. Now, place the bottle on its lower cut off portion as shown in this figure. Now pour some muddy water containing some rubbish slowly into this bottle. What you will see? Yes. Observe the water that flows into the base of the bottle. It appears clean. Of course, you have learned that there could be microorganism in it. Now we will see about famine. Water evaporates continuously. That is why places where it does not rain for a long time experience a drought. That means shortage of water. At such places, the water level falls in rivers, wells, lakes, bunds and dams. What is bun? A wall surrounding a tank and also dams. Some of these may even go dry. The land also dries up due to evaporation. Humans and animals suffer from scarcity of water. That means very less. There is no water for agriculture. 
This condition is called a famine. A famine is a natural disaster. Grain and fodder become scarce means very less during a famine. You may have read about a famine in a state, a country or in any other part of the world. People living there have to face a lot of hardship means lot of problems. Animals and plants in those parts also suffer. The government temporarily moves people and animals from famine stricken areas to safe places where they can be provided with water, food, grain and fodder. Fodder camps are set up to take care of domestic animals. Water management. Let us see about water management. Rain brings us water again and again. But we get rain for only 4 months in a year. If rainwater is not stored, we will not have water for our daily needs after the rains. To meet the whole year's need for water, rainwater must be stopped. When it is stopped, it percolates into the soil. As the groundwater storage increases, trees get water. Wells to get enough water and the land can be cultivated. Several methods are used to make rainwater seep, that means absorb, into the soil. Large dams can be built. But that may not be possible in all places. So what should be done? Let us see. In that event, the government and the people come together to undertake several works. Such as building smaller reservoirs, counter-building, stopping the water of the smaller streams by constructing buns or bandharas, etc. We can store the water. Buns means walls. That is bandhara. These all things have to be done for the storage of water. Now, in some places, wells are dug in riverbeds to allow water to collect in them. Rainwater falling on roof of houses is drained into large tanks placed besides the building. This is also the storage of water. Using all such methods help us to store as much water as possible. It is very important to use water carefully to stop rainwater from flowing away, to make it seep into the ground or to collect it in tanks. Taking step to ensure that rainwater will be available even in the period after the rainy season is called water management. We should save the water. Thank you.